Hey, everybody. Thank you guys know me. I'm Harry James. The next few minutes, we'll take a look at the SMU Mustangs. That is the second game for the Sooners. We'll find out what team, new team, they beat in their bowl game. New Big 12 team they beat in their bowl game, by the way. Plus, we'll recap the season for the SMU Mustangs out of the American Conference. All right, guys, stay tuned. 1982, Boomer Sooner, go away. SMU Mustangs are, uh, are from Dallas, Texas, as we already talked about. And they play specifically in Dallas at Gerald J. Ford Stadium. They're on the campus of Southern Methodist. Coming off of a 7-6 and six overall record there at SMU, 5-3 and three in the athletic conference, fourth best in that conference. Their bowl game? was a win against new newcomer to the Big 12, at least, Brigham Young in the Cougars. Uh, SMU got him 24-23. Under the leadership of one coach, Rhett Lashley, who is in his entry, his second season, season at SMU, and graduated way back, 2004, from... Arkansas. Coaching history, 2022, the win over Brigham Young was his first and only season as head coach and was his first job ever. So he's been at SMU from 2022 to present. Uh, all right, that's Rhett Lashley at SMU. What about the players for Rhett in SMU? Well, that includes... Creston Stone. Stone passed for 388 yards, two tugboats, and one interception last year, and a season-high pass from 75 yards out. The leading rusher returning for SMU, uh, that would be Tyler, uh, or Tyler Levine. Levine. He murders number 31 for the for uh, SMU in the Mustangs, averaging 37 carries last year to go for 642 yards on the ground, six tugboats, and an all run of 70 yards. He does have some help in the backfield, by the way. With Levine will be Jalen Knighton, wearing number four for SMU, where last year, for the Miami Hurricane, had 78 total touches to go for 423 yards and a touchdown and a long-distance shot run from 56 yards. All that happened at Miami. So you go from pass running. Let's look at some of the receivers. Receivers Jordan Kinley and Moochie Dixon return. From last year's offense, where uh, Jordan Curley averaged uh, 37 catches to match it at the end of the year to go for 558 yards and matching with six touchdowns, including a long distance shot from 70 yards in receptions. Moochie Dixon, 28 total receptions last year 
to go for 378 yards, three touchdowns, and a long shot. Longest reception last year, 47 yards. That's some offense. Let's talk about some defense. Now, this, this is where a lot of their changes came. A lot of these changes came from outside. So, they lost a lot of these guys. So, a lot of guys coming in or from the outside. In fact, both uh, leading tacklers uh, are from the outside uh, of, the, uh, of SMU, that is. First, Kobe Wilson, 64 total tackles including a forced fumble. Zero fumbles recovered on a pick. A line guy coming over from Temple University. And number nine, Ahmad Walker. Walker, 73 total tackles. A fumble recovery, a forced fumble, and a pick as a defensive end linebacker from Liberty, 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 Liberty. That was for you, Todd Lizenby. So we talked offense. Double defense. Let's dive a little itty bitty bitty bit to special teams. Where you'll find number 92, Ryan Bucheski. Bucheski, 40 total punts last year to go for 37.3 30, 43.7 in average. Three punts inside the 20, or three touchbacks. 15 inside the 20, and a long-distance punt of 64 yards. But you know what? Nobody cares about that. Let's put points on the board. You know who helps put the point on the board? That's kickers. And for SMU, at least, that is Colin Rogers. Going 16 for 20, 80%, and a long-distance field goal from 46 yards. All right, guys. You guys know me. I'm Harry James. You can find this in all my videos. Find them on YouTube. Uh, 1982 Boomer Sooner. Also Facebook, Harry James Taylor. Or on the Twitter hype machine, at SoonerFan1982. Alright guys. Uh, before I go, a huge, huge, huge thank you to Dari Noka, former Oklahoma Sooner. Uh, now does ASPN work specifically for the SEC Network. I met him yesterday after the, uh, during, I should say, the Oklahoma-Tennessee uh, softball match. So, uh, thanks to uh, him for that. Congratulations to the Sooners, by the way, for winning that and earning their way into the semifinals. Or into, uh, I guess it's kind of the semifinals of the women's college world series. The finals, of course, will be next week. Uh, believe it's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It might be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's either Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Because they want uh, media day. But they'll play tomorrow to figure out who goes there. Till then... Uh, and next week, by the way, we will preview the Tulsa Golden Hurricane. Speaking of Dari from Tulsa, so we'll take a look at the Golden Hurricane, see what they have in store as the Sooners will play their first road game as we preview that first in the next video. Till we preview that game at Tulsa, you guys know me. I'm Harry James. Again, you can follow me on Facebook, Harry James Taylor. Also, Twitter. At SoonerFan1982. Also, these videos are on the YouTube again. 1982 Boomer Sooner. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And Boomer Sooner, everybody. Peace. I'm out of here.